Hi guys. I just wanted to show you, um, I'm working on my No Paper Left Behind challenge. And I did uh, my first piece of work from um, the papers that I have chosen, which was this pocket letter. So one side of the paper is this um, light pink that had the cupcake on it. And I also told you I was probably going to cut the cupcake out, which I did. And I cut the little streamer out there also, and I glued some glitter on it. And then on this other side, oh, here comes some glitter. <laughs> it was drying last night, sorry. On this other side, I used the heart paper. And um, so with the cupcake paper, this is all that I have left right here. But I can probably get a memory dex card one side from this. And then um, a Stanky Cheese Phoenix, her channel is called Stanky Cheese. She gave me a great idea to do um, confetti with some of it. So that is an awesome idea because yesterday I bought confetti. And this confetti was $3.99. So my smart little friend Phoenix just gave me a great idea about making my own confetti. Okay, so the front, I used this um, dark pink heart paper, and this is what I have left so far. And then I made the tag, you can hardly tell, uh, that I used the really um, thick cardstock of this um, heart paper, the red, and I have quite a bit of that left over, so I can do a lot with that still. And I used that for the tag. So that was the first item that I made with my um, paper challenge. No, le no paper left behind. So just wanted to update you on that. And I'll start my next project probably tonight. Bye-bye. Hi guys, I'm coming back to you with my second pocket letter that I have been made, that I have made with the paper that I chose for no paper left behind so i did um some of the red gingham paper this is what i have left of it now and then i did um let's turn it over to this side i did this side in the blue polka dot and oh let's see sorry got the wrong stuff so this is what i have left of the blue polka dot now and then I made the tag with um, one side with the little um, pink from the cupcake paper. So this is actually all I have left of the pink um, cupcake paper. And I've had a couple people, Diane suggested I make some bookmarks with them, bookmarkers, which is a great idea. And then um, Phoenix from Stanky Cheese said, to use the rest up as confetti paper, which is also a great idea. And then if you turn it over to this side, I used um, some of this polka dot paper for the other side. And so I still have a lot left of that one. So that's what I've used of my paper for no paper left behind so far. Uh, let's see, I've got some paper that I still have not even um, touched. So I still have a lot of projects I can do. And I have, of course, the duck still, and Tinkerbell still, the strawberries. And, oh, I love that paper. Kind of old fashioned, looks like wallpaper. And the hearts, and um, the purple paper. I was only supposed to have one hearts in there. But anyways, I still have, so I still have a lot of paper left over, and I will be using that before I use something else. So I just kind of wanted to fill you in with that. And this pocket letter is going to be going out soon to a good um, new subscriber friend that I have. And um, I bought these today that you saw in my Dollar General haul, and I just stuck them in there, and they fit perfect. I loved them. So I think they'll be great. And this um, person that I'm sending this to loves to cook and her channel is called Kimmy's Kitchen. And so I'll be sending that to her. So, and she might not have, I don't know, but Kimmy, it is coming your way. All right, I'm going to post this 
I think um, after I make this video tomorrow on just the two pocket letters and what I've used so far. All right. Bye, guys.